Skywatch Media News for October the 21st, 2020. If you haven't been paying much attention to asteroid events this year, then now may be an opportune time to begin watching and taking notice, as cosmic activity is definitely on the increase. In the week of October the 12th through the 18th, a total of 10 newly discovered asteroids visited our neighborhood, all of them passing within one lunar distance of the Earth. The discovery marks a significant increase in both the detection and the passage of asteroids within one lunar distance in a short time window. So here is what is known at this moment about the number of near-Earth close encounters for October and for the year. Between October the 15th and the 18th, a period of just four days, there were nine newly discovered asteroid flybys. Over a period of three days from October the 18th until the 21st, five newly discovered asteroids will have passed within less than one lunar distance. From October the 1st through the 18th, sky surveys detected 12 asteroid encounters less than one lunar distance, which equals the number of close encounters for the same time period in September. There are now a whopping 84 known asteroids to pass the Earth within one lunar distance since the beginning of the year, including asteroid 2020 SO on December the 1st. With the flurry of recent asteroid flybys within 1 LD, 2020 has already surpassed the previous year, which saw a total of 77. 2020 also holds the record for the closest asteroid approach which occurred in August when asteroid 2020 QG came within 5,800 miles. Here are the detailed statistics for the month of October from the Center for Near-Earth Object Studies, and these are in chronological order of their approach dates beginning on October the 12th. Keep in mind that each of these asteroids varies in size and its eventual proximity to the Earth. The key point being that each of these flybys are at a distance closer than the Moon. Asteroid 2020 TS1 belongs to the Aten group of asteroids. It was detected by the PanSTARRS telescope in Hawaii on October the 8th. Its diameter is between 13 and 16 feet, and it approached within 158,000 miles. 2020 TD7 belongs to the Apollo group. It was detected by the Atlas MLO telescope in Hawaii two days after its passage, which occurred on October the 13th. Its diameter is between 36 and 85 feet, and its close approach was within 211,000 miles. 2020 TK7 belongs to the Aten group. It was first detected at Mount Lemmon Survey on the same day of its passage, October the 15th. Its diameter is between 10 and 23 feet, and its close approach was a little more than 46,000 miles. 2020 a UE was first observed by the Catalina Sky Survey in Arizona two days after its close approach, which occurred on October the 15th. It has a diameter between 68 and 150 feet, and its a close approach took place at a distance of 169,000 miles. 2020 TD6 belongs to the Apollo group. It was first observed by the Mount Lemmon Survey on October the 15th. Its diameter is between 13 and 30 feet, and its close approach occurred at a distance of 86,448 miles. 2020 TE6 is another Apollo asteroid. It was observed by the PanSTARRS-1 telescope on October the 15th. It has a diameter of between 26 and 59 feet, and its close approach occurred at a distance of just over 143,000 miles. 
2020 UX is yet another Apollo asteroid. It was first observed at Mount Lemmon Survey in Arizona on October the 17th, two days prior to its passage. This is a small space rock measuring between 5 and 12 feet, and its close approach was within 118,000 miles on October the 19th. 2020 TF6 is an Apollo asteroid observed by the Mount Lemmon Survey on October the 15th, four days prior to its passage. Its diameter is between 28 and 62 feet, and its close approach was within 95,744 miles on October the 19th. 2020 UA belongs to the Aten Group. It was discovered by the Mount Lemmon Survey on October the 16th, five days prior to its passage. It has a diameter between 19 and 42 feet, and its close approach will be on October the 21st at a distance of just under 27,000 miles. This asteroid is the closest flyby of the 10 that are listed here. The last asteroid in this group of current flybys is asteroid 2020 UY. It belongs to the Apollo group. It was first observed by the Mount Lemmon Survey on October the 17th, four days before its close approach. Its diameter is between 12 and 28 feet, and its close approach will take place on October the 21st at a distance of 217,516 miles. This is the latest flurry of asteroids approaching within less than one lunar distance of our planet this month. With 10 weeks to go until the end of this year, we may just set a new yearly record for asteroid approaches closer than the moon. That number is presently 84. So let's see where we are at year's end. On October 20th, humanity's own extreme flyby of a near-Earth asteroid took place when NASA space probe called Osiris Rex momentarily touched down on the asteroid Bennu, presently located 206 million miles from Earth. The space mission was designed to collect samples from the space rock by blasting the asteroid's surface with high-pressure gas and then vacuuming up the space dust before its departure. A collection of rock samples appears to have taken place as planned, and the spacecraft will now return to Earth where the samples will be analyzed. A brilliant fireball exploded over the night sky in Puerto Rico on October the 17th at 3.45 a.m. local time. It appears to have moved across the Mona Channel to the north of the Commonwealth. According to the Caribbean Society of Astronomy, the space rock is thought to have been several feet in diameter, disintegrating as it moved through the atmosphere. The fireball left a trail of smoke which lasted over the course of 30 minutes following its entry. The object was bluish-green before finally turning a shade of orange, suggesting that its chemical makeup was magnesium and sodium. The meteor illuminated the sky, turning night into day, as captured from multiple angles as it streaked across the Puerto Rican sky. According to official reports, this meteor was not associated with the Torrid meteor shower. When we look to the sky, we are looking into infinity, for it is here that we realize the greater and more important things that are happening across a universal spectrum, rather than the mundane or worldly things that are part of our life each day. Stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching, and always 
keep looking to the sky.